Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it is Saturday, um, and obviously my partner's going to be up, however he isn't, because he's got a migraine, apparently. I don't actually believe that, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I have a weekend to myself, which wasn't planned. Um, I mean, I am full of cold, so it's probably a good thing, but yeah, so I'm making some lunch, which now means I've obviously had to re-plan meals. So I'm going to do salmon, teriyaki tomorrow um, with the sticky rice um, and then I'm also going to try and um, prep some lunch for Monday um, so yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the salmon out now and then I know I've got it out so it can defrost and then tomorrow I'm going to scrub my fridge because it needs doing um, it's grim again I'm making some lunch, I've got the air for I go in for another three minutes. Um, I'm going to grab what I need to from up at the top of this cupboard. And then tomorrow I'm going to, not tomorrow, sorry, Monday morning I'm going to try get my food shop done early morning, like while I'm making breakfast. So, this is the rice for tomorrow. Oh, it's a little bit later. I've had tea. I uh, feel absolutely vile, so I have taken some good old paracetamol. Um, I've got a can of Diet Coke. Um, I've washed up from tea, so I need to put that away. I've got the salmon out for tomorrow's tea, so that's that done. Um, I've bleached my toilet, so that is happily chilly in the toilet. I do need to go and like, scrub that soon. Um, but yeah, that is kind of what we're doing. Um, and then Monday, I need to sort out breakdown cover for my car because I have no breakdown cover and my car is fucked. Like, it's fucked. If you guys watched last week's vlog, um, essentially the engine light came on, which it's done before, um, just for my MRT, and I did tell the guy. And then it went off um, because we worked out I'd screwed my petrol cap on too tight. Um, so that was absolutely fine. And then um, after my MRT and like, what did I talk about? Yesterday, so Friday, turned my car on and it literally said, do not drive it. I'm like, shit, I have no car. And I'm back at work on the 23rd of this month after having a month off from being in hospital and stuff. Um, so I really need to get it sorted. So I'm gonna sort out the breakdown cover Monday, do the food shop on Monday, as in, delivery because I cannot, I obviously cannot drive my car. Tuesday I'm going to ring the garage and just be like, hey, I'm going to bring the car in, like on, on a trailer with my breakdown. Um, and then Wednesday I'll have a nail appointment, so I'm going to try get it to the garage Tuesday evening. Um, and then I'm going to have to figure out how the hell I'm going from Preston to the nail appointment for quartz now. What's 10? Um, yeah. I was thinking that my car's going to be stupidly expensive. So I think what I'm going to have to do is get the bus from Preston to... Yeah, actually I can't do it to Jolly and then... Yeah, it's going to be a fucking ball like but I'm going to have to do it. Um, and then... Yeah, unless I like, cancel my nail appointment this week until I sort out my car, which I might have to do. Um, I do have a nail appointment at the end of the month. So it's not end of the world. Um, and then go from there. But honestly, it's a fucking ball like. So I have just created a to-do list for tomorrow. I have made a start on the shower, like the shower screen and stuff, which was grim AF. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna go in with window and class cleaner. So I've got the bulk of like the grime off it, which is like soap scum and stuff from shower gels and everything. Um, so I've done that. So the first thing I'm going to do tomorrow is the bathroom. Just and the shower's got to have to like dry and all of that before I have a shower. Um, and then in here, won't take me too long. Upstairs won't take me too long. So to be fair, it shouldn't take me too long. Maybe a couple of hours, because the bathroom is the worst, worst room. Um, but it needs to be done. So that is what we're going to do. I'm so full of cold. It is unreal. Um, but yeah, 
So for now, we're just gonna chill out. Um, go from there. And then, yeah, we're just gonna do all that. So tomorrow is dust everywhere, um, hoover, mop, deep clean that bathroom, clean behind the sofa, under the sofa, because I have moved the treadmill, um, which will make life easier when it comes to hoovering, because I will be able to get all of the dust every single week. Um, so it won't be such a problem. Um, so yeah. So it is Sunday morning. I am absolutely full of cold, as you can probably tell. I've literally stayed up. Stayed up. I've had half the night sneezing, or yeah, I don't feel great. Um, um, and then crack on with the cleaning jobs um, to do. So yeah. So, so far of the deep clean day, I have done, obviously I did the shower screen yesterday, I've cleaned the two fans in my bathroom, so I have one to like warm up the bathroom, because that bathroom can get absolutely freezing and it also stops like the steam getting on the mirror too much. Um, the extractor fan that comes on every time you go in the bathroom, cleaned all the like dust that gets settled in there. Um, cleaned the skirting boards in here, behind, minus the sofa, behind the sofa, I need to do that. Um, I've cleaned all of the kitchen. Pulled everything out, gone behind, done all of that. Um, put the slow cooker away because I'm not using that at the moment. Um, I'm using like freezer meals. Um, and when I say freezer meals, it's stuff I've made that's in the freezer. Um, cleaned all that. I've just kind of cleaned what I can. Um, I'm still having my coffee. So then I'm going to clean behind this sofa. Um, and then I'm going to go upstairs dust all the pictures, dust the bedside tables, do all the skirting boards up there. I've done my mirror, I did that last night. Um, I've washed up, but yeah, I'm just kind of cracking on with trying to get this clean. Um, and then I'm gonna do the bathroom, I'm then gonna do hoover and mop in here, um, hoover upstairs, hoover the stairs. So, bathroom is done. Um, that floor was disgusting. The shower wasn't too bad, but it was still grim. So that's all being done. I'm just letting the floor like dry before I move everything back in. Um, so that's that. Um, but yeah, it wasn't great, but it's done. So I can then just like normally hoover and mop it. This week was like a proper, proper deep clean of, of um, everywhere. I don't know why I've chosen this weekend. Probably because my partner's up. Um, which I get he's got a migraine and stuff and it's not that I'm blaming him, it's just it's kind of giving me something to do because I did all of my uni pre-reading yesterday. So I've got left to do is dust the bedside tables, do all the skirting boards upstairs um, and behind the sofa <coughs> and dust the pictures upstairs, um, hoover, mop, job done and then edit the vlog that goes up on Monday um, and upload it which I can do at any point, um, but the bathroom stuff will just get put back together and then I will have a shower tonight and just feel all clean, but know that my flat is 100% clean. There is, the, obviously there's going to be germs, but the bulk of the germs are gone. Um, so that is kind of what we're doing. So I use Dettol um, spray on everything, minus the shower, that was pure bleach. I mean, it was diluted, but it was just bleach. Um, same for the floors. The floors are a bleach bath today. Um, needs doing. So that is that. And then it's going to be fresh PJs tonight. Um, ready for the morning. So tomorrow I'm going to get up relatively early. Make some porridge. Um, actually no I can't because the milk will, I won't have any milk. Um, probably grab some breakfast from uni. Or something. Um, go from there. And then, yeah, that should be it. And then this flat will be clean and ready to go. So it is Monday. I'm running on like an hour of sleep. Really, really didn't sleep well last night. Um, so yeah, food shop, got done because I couldn't sleep. Um, this was after I'd tried for like two and a half hours. So I was like, right, let's just order the food shop. Um, get that done. So, we've done that, which 
is a win. Um, but my eyes are burning. I don't know whether I'll make it to the last workshop. I want to do first and lecture and then probably call it a day and come home. Um, it's not what I want to do. However, I know how horrific I feel. So that is me done. Um, so I'm going to have a Red Bull, watch a bit of TV, try stay awake, I guess. It is only five past seven. So I could really have gone up at like half seven, but meh. Um, it is what it is. So I've taken two cold flu tablets. Um, I'm going to grab some from Tesco as well today. So I'm going to get my lunch. I'm going to get a couple of like Red Bulls um, as well. Possibly a Costa from the canteen. Lord knows it's needed. <clears throat> and then we can go from there. And then I don't think I'm going to do the workshop. I think what I'm going to do is the dissertation workshop. First thing since 9 till 11. Have my lunch and then do the lecture. One till three. Come home. I think if I try and do all of it. My body ain't going to like it anyway. Um, but I definitely, definitely don't don't feel well um but i've got a bit of makeup on we will battle it as much as i can but yeah we will see um and i think i've got too much hair oil in last night so i'm gonna wash my hair when i get home today um i've also got my food shop due between six and seven so it's a much better time because yeah, last week was between seven and eight um for like 48 quid i think um, there's a couple of things that I'm happy for them to substitute, so like macalume, uh, tofu, um, what was the other thing? There was one other thing I was happy for them to substitute. So, as you can see, I've got my coat on, I'm just going to put my shoes on. It is 10 to 8. Um, but yeah, so, shoes are going to go on. Um, I've got hoodie on, my coat. Um, hoping and praying that I feel somewhat more human in a bit. Um, but um, one of my uni friends has just said, if I've got what she has, she's still got it, and she's on like the second week. Uh, I'm like, I really, really hope I don't have that, but I have a sinking feeling I probably do. Um, so yeah, love that. So I didn't do the last thing for the uni day. I didn't do my um, last workshop, but to be honest, it's fine. I will catch up with it, but the need for my meds increased. So I'm like, <laughs> I kind of need my cold and flu tablet. Um, I probably should have taken them to uni with me, but I didn't, like a bit of an idiot. So I am now going to um, take two more. And then we can go from there. So I am almost ready. I've just got to look at my top one, which is currently downstairs. Um, and then we can go from there. I've got sausages and hash browns in the air fryer. Which is another two minutes. Luckily my top is like down here. Um, and then once I've eaten, I can do my makeup which is gonna be like the most basic look but yeah um and then we can go from there <clears throat> so makeup is done minus my lips i'm just about to go brush my teeth um i have put my earrings in so i've done two little studs and then these little like crosses and crossbows with a turquoise stone in and then i'm gonna go brush my teeth now i'm just gonna leave my hair down um, because I got all of that oil out. I did use too much on Sunday night, so I washed it last night and it feels so much better. So we are now going to quickly brush my teeth. So toothbrush charger is out. Um, and then we can now put this on charge. Um, go and quickly put my jumper on because it is only 10 to 8. Um, and then that's all of that done. Um, 
and then I can watch a little bit of TV. But yeah, so that's the toothbrush on charge. Um, and I am now going to quickly go put my jumper on. Um, and then I can... Actually, I'm going to put my lipstick on first and then do all that. But I do feel better than I did yesterday. Definitely feel less congested. I think having like nearly nine hours of sleep definitely helped. Um, so today's lip is going to be White Wedding, I think. Yeah. Um, and then once I'm fully ready, I can put my jumper on. And now that the other thing I need to do is my shoes, which is just going to be my mock converse. And then go from there and I can chill watching a bit of TV, double checking which classroom we're in because our timetable loves to change last minute. So I'm going to double check that, um, put my coat on, all of that fun stuff and go from there. So AA who have just been out to my car, we've literally just dropped it off at a garage which is like a 10 minute walk from me because um, my normal garage won't touch it, which to be honest, Apparently with the issue my car's got is very common um, because the wet belt's gone or is close to going um, and it's just not something that they check for like on, the, on a service and MRT. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's been causing all of my fucking drama with my car. Um, so like I said, the garage is only 10 minutes away from me um, and AA use them for people obviously around here. Um, but yeah, so we have sorted that. I've cancelled tomorrow's nail appointment because I'm just not going to be able to get there. Um, saying it could take up to a week to fix, which not ideal. Why have I got hair stuck there? Do you mean hair stuck there? So yeah. Well, not ideal, it's also not the worst thing to happen. Um, it's just highly irritating. It's like 600 odd pound, which, me, which the bank of mum and dad are gonna have to fund. Um, but it is what it is, like it can't be helped. Um, cars love to break down. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna get in my joggers, get comfy. Um, I did miss my workshop, but I did also let the um, workshop leader know who also my lecturer. And I was like, <laughs> my car kind of needs fixing. She's like, that's fine. Like, um, go and get that sorted. Um, but she's also handed me what they would be doing in the workshop anyway. So I'm not actually missing out on content. Yeah. Glad that I've managed to sort my car. Just to explain to the ex what um, a wet belt is. Well, took a screenshot of what Google say. Um, off a car like maintenance website so I'm now going to put on some joggers I don't really want to sit in like PJs today so joggers it is um, and I'm going to watch some documentaries for a bit um, but yeah my car's well and truly fucked at the moment um, but we will get it sorted but yeah, I kept saying to my mum and dad, I'm sorry. Because obviously it's only had its MOT like last like not last week, the week before. Um and you obviously can't drive in a wet belt. So I had to drive it to the garage, which was like a three minute drive. So while not ideal, I did have AA following me, um, which was fine. Um but yeah, it's a three minute walk, sorry, a three minute drive from here, so probably 10 minutes to walk it. So it's not like a million miles from me, which is good, because my actual garage wouldn't touch it, which apparently is quite common for this issue. Um, but most garages won't touch it, um, but this guy, he will. So <clears throat> got it to the garage, then, I thought my mum and dad was like, Mama, Dada, like, help. Um, so that was that. Um, so he's got like an engine oil fault, which is probably mixed in with the wet belt going, because um, it's not going to pick up a lot of my normal stuff. 
Um, and then literally as I pulled around the corner to the garage, it went low fuel. I was like, fuck you. Um, so I'll pencil my nails on tomorrow. So it is Wednesday. My mum texted me about this morning about half eight. I mentally replied to your message. I just obviously didn't actually respond. I was like, it's fine, honest. Um, so we are just waiting until the end of the month to get my nails done, which is completely fine because next week I also don't know whether um, I would be ready to, with my car. It's only two weeks anyway, so yeah. Um, so like it's, there is no point in me like moving my appointment to next week and then the week after having an appointment. So we're just going to wait until the following week, which is no big deal. Good morning, so it is first morning, um, and I'm literally just going for the most basic outfit. Gym shark, gym leggings, it's comfy. That's all I want. So I have got dressed, we're going to make a coffee, because, yep, yeah, and I need to pack my bag. Um, I am coming back between lecture and the meeting <coughs> that I have uh, with my personal shooter and then going from there to you, the workshop if I've got the energy. Um, but yeah, so I've got tea out for tonight which is going to be a spag bowl. Um, I've taken out the freezer some stuff that I know I won't eat. Um, the pasta bake that I made that was absolutely vile and I only had three portions left so I was like, no, we might as well like actually throw it. Um, so that is what we've done. Um, I may potentially also make a coffee for the first lecture. Um, only because I've got the time um, and I don't need to leave here until like half eight, so cracking. But I am going to quickly wash all the Tupperwares up that have needed it, as in that I had the pasta dish that I've just thrown out. So I'm getting ready to go back out again for this meeting. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to the work I do need to get change for the washer and dryer. So I think that will be the job that I do. Um, rather than be late to a workshop. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to do. Um, because the washer and dryer I kind of need. Um, so I'm going to get 30, maybe £40 pounds worth of change um, for the washer and dryer. So, well, it's not a ton of money, it'll last me a couple of weeks and then I'll get some more. So, yeah. So, it is Friday morning at 10 to 9. I'm up bright and early. Don't know why. Um, I don't really have any plans today, other than potentially getting my car back. Provided it's done, obviously, they did say up to a week, so that could be up to next Tuesday. If I've heard nothing by like Monday morning, I'll just put in a food order with Asda for delivery. Um, so, yeah, I've also got the laundry bag. Um, so I need a quick wee. Um, and then we can go from there. Oh, <coughs> it is. Lunchtime, I mean it is only 10 to but this will take me about 10 minutes to do. So we're doing half brown. We're basically doing a breakfast round at lunchtime. So laundry is in the dryer. I have washed up um, and now I'm kind of just relaxing. Um, I've just literally been on to the, put the stuff in the dryer. Um, so that's that, but for now, we're just gonna do our own thing. Um, and then go from there. I will put fresh bedding on in a bit, but yeah, right now I'm just kind of hit the blank of energy. So I might make, I don't want a coffee. I think I'm just gonna get a Pepsi Max um, out of the cupboard, sit down, chill. I might make a start of looking at the assignment brief um, for one of my modules so that I can plan the essay next week, start the essay, crack it on um, and then the week after I can make a start on the other essay there's not an essay, it's like a poster um, but I want to get the actual big essay done first 
because if that's not due until January, I want to have it like at least semi done. What is my hair doing? Um, so that I can um, know what that come Christmas, I can mainly focus on my dissertation. So, laundry done. I've still got some to put away, which is mainly bedding, which I'll do when I go up in a bit. Um, so it is three o'clock and I'm just kind of getting ready to chill. Um, but yeah, so that is what we're up to. Um, and then the majority of my washing is away, which is always a win. So, yeah. Um, and now I can like properly relax and just go from there. Shower done, um, which is good. I've also moisturised because I discovered my moisturiser. Um, essentially, I did a bit of a clear out of my bathroom drawer. Two seconds. So, as I was saying, I had a bit of a clear out of my bathroom drawer. Um, there was stuff in there that I wasn't ever going to use um, or used and didn't actually like but I hadn't thrown out um, and then tonight I've finished off my um, LMA sensitive cleansing wash I do have another one so that's just gone out on my bathroom shelf um, and then the moisturiser I used which I kind of forgot I had was the glow that's meant to be the Sol de Janeiro dupe the vanilla almond salted caramel completely forgot I had that um, so I've just used that um, to moisturise the body so it doesn't dry out. Um, I've also cut my toenails because they're getting a little bit long. Um, I don't like them too long. So that got sorted. Um, but yeah, we are now kind of getting ready to settle down for the night. Um, as in like watch TV, that kind of thing. Not like go to bed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm also going to grab another Pepsi Max, um, because I didn't order a drink with tea. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the vlog here and say that I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, guys.